Are you ready? Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified. Slot Gittins here with another security tip. And today we're going to be talking about deploying RSA Authentication Manager 8.3 in AWS. We got some housekeeping items before I get started. Once you purchase your RSA Secure ID Access, your Authentication Manager, make sure you go and download those license files from RSA Download Central because you're going to need that when we finish deploying it and have to activate a license, right? So also what you want to do is plan your deployment. So you're going to need your IP address because you're going to need this before you start. So if you're not solid on a networking portion of it, if you have a network engineer, make sure they're here. He or she is there with you to help you with this deployment. Some other things I'm not going to cover right now are you have to build your own AD, of course. I'm not gonna go through that just for the sake of time. And also, you're gonna have to deploy your VPC. So what I'm gonna do is, because I didn't know how to deploy a virtual private cloud on AWS, so I found someone on YouTube that I followed the directions and had help from my network administrator, and I got it done. So I'm gonna make sure to put that link in, in the description for you. So then you gotta set up your private subnet. Then you also gotta have permission to deploy M4 or larger. So make sure you, you, you have those permissions set before you get started. So let's go. One thing I will not be covering is creating a security group. I already pre did it already because all it is is open up my ports so I can talk to my authentication manager. So you're just going to have to read this guide, follow the prompts and put in the different open ports that you're going to need. So next, what we're going to start doing is we got to deploy the virtual appliance, right? You might say, Sylvester, I have 8.2. Well, how do I get 8.3? Contact RSA support. They're going to provide you with, with your AWS file. And then what you also can do is update it from the, the security console and update it to 8.3 once you get that. All right. So this is the information that you want to have set so you can copy and paste it so we can get this started. That's enough talking. Let's actually get into the deployment. So right here, I gotta, I'm got i going to activate my, a, my Active Directory because like I said before, I built it out. I'm going to need that portion to it. So I'm going to start this instance. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch this instance and go grab my, my Amazon machine image. And then I got to go once shared with me. So let's go grab the authentication manager right here. It's going to tell us to get the M4. Now we're going to get to the, the phone part. So I created my VPC. So I have two separate ones. So I'm going to keep my subnet the same because that's the one I designated for this. You know, auto assign IP address. We're going to leave everything else the same. You can change this if you want to create an identity access management role. I'm not going to use it for this demo because I just don't need it. You don't really need to do anything else. I, what I will do is type in my... IP address, which is, I gotta put in that text. So let me grab that. All right, so we have that in there. I gotta make sure, don't need this piece to it, because if it's not right, it will fail on the deployment. So we wanna make sure everything is correct. And which it is so let's go to add storage this has already been pre-configured for you from the template so you don't need to do anything right here and now we're going to add some custom tags so first i want to name my um, instance because this is going to be helpful when you do those reportings so i can know exactly what it is so let's do rsa am2 and then the next tab, we're going to do user. So I want to know who is actually using it. So slide gettins. Let's do slide gettins. And I put these tags just because when I'm running reporting, I have a few other vendors in this environment. So I want to know how much each vendor is costing me. So now I can make, you know, my monthly budget. This is really good just to give you an idea uh, when you write and run your report, pick whatever you like. I just like this because multiple people use my environment for our testing purposes. We want to know how much each person is costing the company when we deploy this. Select my security group. So I already created that already. So my ports open. So let me do that now. All right. So now we want to review everything. So we correct. We, we selected everything correct. We got our stuff here stored. We got our tags. So let's hit launch. We're not going to use pair. We just don't need it for this deployment. And now my system's being launched. 
So what I want to do now, we can watch the status of this. This actual, this is the longest part of the app deployment is having the instant be actually created. So we can take a look at it. If you kind of get Nancy, you want to know, is it running? If it's not running, we can find out exactly what's going on with it. So let's go to AMS right here. Let's right click. Let's go to instant settings and get a screenshot. So if in the screenshot, I can see exactly where is it at? Where is it booting? And this is going to help me with to seeing if it is it failed. If I did something wrong, it would fail here. Or you can see where it's successful and it would have presents you with the actual URL, which you're going to need to go finish setting it up. So it's going to take a little bit to do that. So let's wait. It takes about 10 minutes, but I'm not going to have you wait for that. So I'm going to put it on pause and I'll be right back. Right. So everything passed. It's fully qualified host name. That's what I need to go to right now to see if this is going to be allow me to be deployed. Click next and accept. And as you can see, go through the actual first setup and initial setup. What are you going to see? So the reason why I said to download that license file before you could do anything else, you need to be able to do that. Create a password here. So start configuration. And now this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to be completed. And then once this is done, we have it up and running in, in AWS. All right. So it's done now. As you can see, everything is set up. And now I can get to my links right now. So Boom. We're logged in. Secure ID access is more than just token. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified.